Now here we have two picture frames. What's the difference between them? Look at the triangle. Ooh. Let's read the question to find out more. So there are two ways to hang the same picture. In both cases, a string is attached, loop symmetrically. Okay, good to know. The forces shown are the forces act on the nail. So all these uh, T and R arrow now is the forces on the nail that's holding up the picture on the wall. The diagram one string loop is shorter. Okay, makes sense. I mean, it does look shorter. The string, by the way, is this. That's a string shorter and this is a longer string. Which information about the magnitude of forces is correct? What are our choices? R and T. Well, we know what T is, but what is R actually? Uh? R is the force from the wall on the nail that keeps the nail up. Okay, so you hammer a nail into the wall, boom, 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 boom. you hang something on it, uh, hang a string there, but the wall will kind of keep the nail up and that's the normal reaction force keeping that nail up there not just dropping down so they say wow r1 r2 t1 t2 how do they relate huh? let's see so firstly let's look at r first r is basically supporting the whole weight of the uh, picture frame right picture frame is going to have some weight W, oh no, it disappeared. And another weight, W. Somehow, the W will have to balance out the tension forces. Yeah, how to draw the tension? Okay, tension, tension, W. This, this is the free body diagram for the picture frame. So picture. And those two same tension forces will be the one that pull down on the nail. So this free body diagram for the nail. And then the nail will experience something to counter it. So the tension forces are basically just intermediary. La. They're just helping to transmit this uh, force in this case. You can think of it that way. So essentially, the reaction force on the nail, if you want to shortcut that way, should be the same as the weight of the picture. That's how it can support the weight ma. If not, how's the nail gonna support? So you think I'm gonna say, hmm, same picture frame, therefore the nail should be uh, the nail should have the same reaction force in both. That's why it can support the weight of the frame in the first place. So from there we can cancel out C and D. Now we have to think of tension. Do you think tension is the same or not? Pause this video, think about it. Write an answer or take a vote. You think it's A or B and we'll find out real soon. Okay, so here's the here's how you can think about it. They are not the same. That's for sure. Because the angles are different, the lengths are different, so tension cannot be the same. Therefore, what's left is only B law. So we look at B. It says tension 1 is greater than tension 2. Why is that? We'll need some space to draw the diagrams out. So, let's say we have the same R force, which should balance out T forces, T1 or whatever, I just call T. Okay. The only thing difference between both is the length of the string, which affects the angle here, theta, theta. Okay, in the first picture, those two thetas have a very small vertical component. Okay, this red color line is the vertical component, la, Ty. So, to compensate for that, the tension has to be quite high in the string. So, this tension has to be high because the component is very small. But in the other one, wow, the string is much more vertical and have a much larger vertical component. So this tension does not need to be so high because already got vertical component. Ma. So this is actually smaller. This one is bigger. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, simulation to make sense of this a little bit more. Look at the forces. 
Here we have a very handy uh, simulation down on GeoGebra. I'll post the link uh, for you all to access down in the description and in Teams also. So you can go play around with it and try to understand this tension thing better. Anyway, here's a similar situation. What I can adjust here is the angle between uh, those things. So in a way, like that low, your string is getting longer, shorter, longer, shorter, longer, shorter. Okay. What I want you to notice is uh, there's a misconception that the tension depends on the length directly. Well, actually, the tension that de depends on the angles and the angles affect the length. Or rather, the length affect the angles and the angle affect tension. So take note. Firstly, weight is, let's say, 12. I can choose what weight I want. 12 newtons down. Which means the components, total component upwards should be 12 as well. So 6 plus 6, also 12. So no matter what angle I change, the vertical component is fixed because we are saying that the system is in equilibrium. So 6 newton, 6 newton is for sure. So then what is changing? The angle's changing. Look at how the tension changes. Tension change, angle change. Tension change, angle change. If I have a very large angle, means your uh, your rope is almost vertical, then both of them have very, a lot of vertical... Comp uh, lot. Most of their components are vertical, let's put it this way. So the resultant tension does not need to be so big. But if your angles are very small, Most of these tensions components are in the horizontal, so you need a large horizontal in order to uh, have this angle and this tension together. So notice, uh, you change the angle, how does it change? Go play with this and look at the patterns and try to wrestle with the understanding and see how you can make sense of it. Another one which I also will post is one way you can just drag around uh, for fun. So this is the same thing. You can click on this object. Okay. Notice how if your string is quite vertical, these two arrows, which are tension, is quite small because a lot of vertical component in the map. But if you make the strings quite horizontal, wow, then the tension force becomes much bigger because it, it, it needs to compensate for that vertical component to balance out the weight. Okay. See this diagram on the right side? The tension have to add up to be the weight, both tensions. Okay, so the angle affects that. And what affects the angle? The length of the string affects that. Okay, so go play around with these things and you understand better how to work with tension.